Hey guys, it's Katie, back again with another video for you guys, but this one is a little bit more natural and toned down. I've already gone in with my skincare and my primer, so I'm just going to start stippling some foundation on my face, and then eventually start buffing it in like so. This makeup is great to do in the morning before work, which is what I'm doing here. It's great to do before school, or if you're just out running errands. It's very basic, very easy, and you can amp it up or tone it down even more if you need to, based on uh, kind of what you're doing that day. sure to use a long wearing long lasting foundation because I will be using this all day while I'm at work and I want to make sure that it doesn't uh, go, go cakey or uh, wear off throughout the day at my hard strenuous office job. <laughs> I like to go in with a little sponge and just go over my foundation again, just making sure it is as blended as possible, that there are no patchy patches <laughs> or harsh lines. A little bit of eye primer to go on the eyes. We're not going to be doing very much eyeshadow today, but again, this is going to be on all day, so you want to make sure that whatever goes on your eyes it stays. Just pat that in. A little bit of concealer, mainly just going underneath the dark circles and then doing any kind of spot concealing that you may need to do. This helps you look a little bit more awake and ready to take on the day, which at 7.30 in the morning I am not, so I need all the help that I can get. throughout the day. You mainly want to focus on the center of your face where you tend to get the oiliest, especially your T-zone. But I'm a very, very oily person, so I pretty much use it throughout my whole face. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of bronzer to add a little bit of color. We're not going to be doing any kind of contouring or anything like that today. It's just not necessary for me. However, feel free to add that in. down your neck as well also helps to kind of blend in your foundation with the rest of your skin if the color is a little bit off and then just a little tip on the nose a little bit of blush as well just to add a little bit more life back into the skin <laughs> all right now I'm just gonna go in with a very light warm brown shade and going to put that specifically in my crease and really blend and buff that out. I 
didn't really feel the need to show you guys the product I'm using. It doesn't really matter. Any uh, neutral color shade will do. All this is doing is just adding a little bit of contrast to the eyes, a little bit of depth. That way you don't look so <laughs> flat, I guess. Just going to use that same shade underneath the eyes to really tie in what we did up top. Hope you're being entertained by my facial expressions this whole video. <laughs> Just going to use a little bit of brow gel to help finish off the look. For me, just whenever I'm going out and about or to work or anything that doesn't involve a whole lot of effort, I find that just doing a little bit of brow gel and maybe filling in a few sparse areas with a pencil is plenty for me. It gives it a little bit of color and just kind of keeps my brow hairs in place all day. If you're curious how I actually do my brows, um, I have a brow tutorial that I put out right before I put this one out. So it's going to be my, my most recent video uh, before this. And I actually take you step by step on how I fill my brows in with a pencil. And so if you are curious, you can just go down and watch that and maybe it'll be helpful to you. A little bit of mascara. And of course, I'm not going to use any kind of false lashes or anything like that today. That's definitely a bit much. But if you're someone that wears false lashes on a day-to-day -day basis, then that is totally A-OK. -okay. And I find that a really, really good tip to make sure that your uh, lashes do not clump together is to roll that brush. Kind of like what I'm doing there. try to be rather careful since we don't really have any eyeshadow on our lids. We don't have anything to cover up our mistakes if you get any uh, mascara on your eyelids. So. A little bit of highlighter. Again, just adding a little bit of life to the skin. throughout the day. Just going to use a highlighter as well to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners. Now that we have nice, healthy, glowy looking skin, I'm going to go on with a little bit of a lip plumping gloss. Feel free to use your favorite tint or just something complementing your skin tone. And that's pretty much all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.